this time of year is really hard for women and men because we have so many pressures to look a certain way, to be a certain size. Um, there are ads and, and promotions everywhere about losing weight and getting your summer body. Well, let me tell you, this is your summer body. Wherever you are at, you need to embrace it and just be you. I mean, we don't all just get here. It takes time, it takes a lot of practice of self-love, and you know, I have to admit there were times when I wouldn't even step foot in a bikini. I wouldn't uh, be caught dead in a pool without, you know, a big bag t-shirt on and some swim shorts, and, and now I love my body. I love, um, you know, inspiring women to love their body, uh, men to love their body, anyone just to be who they are and, and to own everything that they have and, and to practice self-love. I know that it's hard. It's hard when you see those Instagram feeds and, and you see all these women and, and men and whomever uh, leading these great lives and having these fit bodies and whichever, and that's great for them. Um, but that doesn't mean that you are any less. You are more than enough and you are more than welcome to, to be in a bikini or Wear whatever you want and enjoy this summer just as you are. And just know that I am sending so much love to you and get in that bikini. Wearing a swimming costume or bikini used to be my worst nightmare. Um, during my teenage years, I was super self-conscious, uh, particularly of my arm. I stuck out like a sore thumb. Comments like, your arm makes me feel sick. Um, oh, that's disgusting. Made me quite happily hide away underneath a jumper or a long sleeve t-shirt. So being a swimmer where you have to be in a swimming costume or a bikini every day of my life was quite a challenge um, and stepping outside my comfort zone was really hard. But actually when I did it, it was the most liberating thing. And I encourage every one of you out there to love your body, no matter what disability, ability, if you, you don't think you're the right shape, you should love it for what it is. And who cares about what people think? I understand you guys comfort generation. It's like social media and the internet about likes. You have to be pretty and perfect and blah, blah, blah. But I have to tell you, you have to be yourself. It's not about to be pretty or have the color hair or color skin, whatever. But this is about more, more, more confidence. And don't be so stress to be like a proof for everybody else when you feel like down i i've been there place too like <laughs> i'm not confident at all like four years ago i'm like wait a minute what i'm doing and i really started doing this exercise like writing the paper and things you would like to be or you are but you don't trust you are for example i all the time i write in the paper say I'm beautiful, I'm confident, I trust myself, and every single day of my life, I'm going to be good and do good. And it's so funny because every single morning, you're going to wake up and read that, or you can put it on the wall, on your book, inside your book you're reading, or something like that, and every single time, you're going to tell yourself that your body and your mind start to believe in that, and this is my advice, and after, you're going to be like, yeah, what's up? What's up? This is me. I'm good. I'm doing good. And this is life. If you were worried this summer about wearing a bikini to the beach, I just want to let you know that you have no flaws on your body. Flaws do not exist. None of us have flaws on our body because flaws are made up by the media. They make up all these different reasons why we have things wrong with our body. They use our insecurities to make money and wouldn't it be amazing this year this summer if everyone just loved their bodies and went to the beach in a bikini and finally understood that self-love really does bring beauty for anybody out there who's struggling with thoughts and insecurity and body issues it's time to go to the beach go outside or enjoy the summertime i just want you to know that you are enough exactly the way you are go outside enjoy the sunshine feel the sun on your shoulders feel the wind in your hair and just remember that whoever you are whatever you are right now is good enough you're a part of nature and that's a beautiful thing so here's the deal i used to be super self-conscious of my legs because they're big they're muscular so much so 
that I wouldn't wear shorts and I would feel embarrassed in my bikini. So here's the thing. I've come to love my body and I've spent a lot of years feeling otherwise. And it took other people telling me that my legs were beautiful for me to believe that. So you have a bikini body. You're beautiful. Get out there and rock it. Don't waste another day of your life believing anything different. Given that I have grown up in a thin, privileged, white privileged, able-bodied privileged body, um, it's almost insane to say this, but I have been at war with my body for the entire years I've been on this planet. And only my 30th year have I started to say, hell yeah, this be me and I am enough. And I think it's time for us all to think that all to celebrate, accept, and really champion the power of ourselves, the power of our bodies, the fact that they are the vessel of all that we are. And that whatever they look like is just that, what they look like. Um, so he, I'm here to say, we are enough, exactly, exactly as we are. And I have a bikini body, just like you. So get out there, take back the summer, and rock whatever you've got. And I know that's easy coming from me, so from the place of darkness where I was, what I would tell that younger self or someone struggling is to be kind, be gentle, and be fierce. Because inside you, you are a warrior, and you are worth every bit of fun the beach has to offer. So much love! Welcome to my bikini body. I have cellulite. And I got some more cellulite. And I have my lovely little squishy fat rolls. And I have stretch marks. And I got cellulite on my arms. And I'm fucking rocking it all because none of that defines me. And because this bikini is comfortable and because I feel amazing in it. And none of that is going to take away from me having a good experience at the beach if I want to have a good experience at the beach. So. I'm pretty happy with this. I feel totally comfortable and I feel absolutely incredible and I'm just really stoked to just be myself and to just exist freely and to be confident no matter what size my body is, no matter how I look. And I want to encourage so many women to do the same. If you want, if that's something that is in your heart's desire, then I can't even begin to tell you how accessible it is to you. You just have to take the leap. It's totally scary and being fearful sucks. Like it's the worst feeling in the world to be scared. And I get that and I see that and I hear you. But once you overcome that fear, the confidence, the empowerment, the self-love that comes afterwards will wash everything else to the side and you will be able to experience that fully and be able to have that experience over and over and over again more thoroughly and just being more happy in your body. This is my bikini body and I'm stoked on it. And no one's gonna take that away. And no one's gonna tell me that I can't do this and that I can't have this body. And I'm just stoked on it. <laughs> For years, I avoided any type of social interaction that required me to wear a swimsuit. I hated my body, and I was terrified what other people might say about it. As I grew to love myself, I realized other people's negative comments say more about them than they do about me. I love my body. I love wearing a bikini. I have a bikini body. You want to know how you can have a bikini body? Just put on a bikini. It's that time of the year again, when it's almost summer, it's beautiful out, and everyone just feels the need to have what they call a summer body. Well, I'm here to tell you, there's no such thing. You have people who are trying their best to try to get, you know, the ideal body, or those who even don't go to the beach because they don't feel like they have a summer body. Um, and my thing is that there are only two things that you need to be ready for the summer. One, sunscreen. Yes, everyone. And the second is a kick-ass bathing suit. This is how I get ready for the summer. Here we go. Doesn't matter if you have a big belly or scars 
just taking that sun and voila I don't know about you but I'm ready for summer Growing up plus size, I was always told by the media, even other women, that I didn't have a bikini body, that I needed to be covered up, that my stretch marks and cellulite were ugly, and that I wasn't, you know, good enough to have a bikini body. Leave that, girl. You're beautiful. Don't don't worry about what other people are saying. Like, don't let a little cellulite make it so you can't enjoy yourself and have fun at the beach. Love who you are. It's okay to be different. It means you've been around, girl. Girl power. Hi guys, I'm Natalie and I tell you something, a little secret, I've got really big boobs and for a long time I couldn't find swimwear, I couldn't find underwear, I couldn't find bum pieces and to be honest I can't still, but I won't let that stop me because everybody's beautiful, even if you've got small boobs, big boobs, just go out of there and look because look, if I can do it, you can do it. So if you have doubt, if you're like, can I do it, am I worthy, the answer is yes, you all are, so go for it, work it and love your body. <laughs> I believe that everyone out there has a bikini body. Whether you're tall, short, slim, curvy, I think that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful and I think that you should go out there and own it. My advice to anyone who's struggling with feeling confident in a bikini is to understand that we're all human and everyone feels insecure. Everyone is nervous to be in a bikini on the beach and wondering what people's reactions are. But honestly, my advice would be that you have to live in the moment. You can't live your life in fear of not looking perfect because no one's perfect. And you shouldn't miss out on happy moments because of your own insecurities. I have a bikini body because I'm alive. I'm here on this earth. I am gonna celebrate every day. I have the gift of love, I have the gift of everyone around me, and I don't really care. I mean, life is too short to worry about things that are really, 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 really not that important. So long as you can breathe and you can move and you can cherish life, cherish it and stop worrying about silly things like the size of your thighs, jiggle in your arms, or I don't have a six pack, ooh wee, the world's gonna end. It's really not that big a deal. Just live your life and enjoy yourself. I promise you, the day you walk out in your bikini and realize that nobody is dying or nobody's going, oh, look at that, it's rather like, mm, okay, a bikini. Woo, whoop de doo Live your life, be fun and be free. Have, do the things that mean the most to you without a care in the world for what anybody thinks. When you can do that, I promise you, your life will change. To me, there's no such thing as a bikini body because we've all got bodies and we're all beautiful no matter what. However, when I was younger, I didn't feel particularly sexy or confident in a bikini because to me, a bikini body was one with big tits and curvy hips and a juicy bum and I didn't have any of that. So I felt kind of scrawny and not like super confident. <laughs> but as I've got older, I've kind of realized that actually feeling beautiful comes from the inside and as long as you nurture yourself and give yourself what you need and care for your body then you'll look and feel beautiful no matter what. Uh, the thing for me about bikinis is that they actually don't make me feel very confident about myself and haven't for a very long time. It's only been recently that I've actually owned a bikini and felt comfortable wearing it within the spaces of my own home and the pool that we had at home. If you asked me to go out now in a bikini to the beach, I would I would flatly refuse if I didn't have something to cover myself up with. A lot of the negative stigmas around disability and the disabled body and the way that it's always been portrayed as being something that's broken or something that is to be pitied or something that needs fixing or something that is negative or heartbreaking or inspiring or sad. That's kind of the feedback that I got from the world as I grew up as a disabled child into a disabled woman. I was never really told, hey, disabled people are beautiful, disabled people are sexy, disabled people are desired, attractive, allowed to be confident. And so when the majority of society has an attitude which reflects those thoughts, it can be very, very hard to break away from them, especially little to no representation of other people like you in mainstream media. And growing up, I never saw disabled models. I never saw disabled characters on TV or in movies and if they were 
disabled characters. They were never portrayed by disabled actors. And it can be very confronting and isolating existing in a world where it seems like there is hardly anyone like you who may share similar experiences to you. I think what I want people to get away from this video is that at its core, body positivity movement really encourages the notion that regardless of your sex, your gender, your sexuality, your race, your cultural background, religion, your disability, your body type, you are allowed to love and appreciate yourself. You're allowed to look in the mirror and say, hey, I look good because the world doesn't always tell us that. So why can't we tell ourselves that? And I'm not saying that after this, you'll be able to you know, go down to the shop and buy a bikini and wear it out straight away and feel absolutely a plus because it's probably not gonna happen. These things take time. I'm still in the process, but I hope some of you have been able to see this and say, oh, she's disabled. She likes herself. I do. Hi everyone. My name is Sarah and I have a bikini body. Now here's the reason why. We live in a world, in a society that wants you to feel like who you are just as you are as wrong. And what I am telling you right now, what I believe to the bottom of my soul, that the only way to truly create happiness and joy in our own life is to have peace and acceptance with where we are in our body right now. I have a bikini body because I have gratitude for my body's capability to change and evolve and grow and get stronger. I don't have to be perfect in order to feel peaceful with where I am. I can want to grow. I can want to get healthy. I can want to do all of that and still celebrate my body as it is and what it is capable of right now. My message to anyone who struggles with is their body bikini worthy is yes it is. All bodies and all women deserve to feel good in their body as it is. You have a bikini body if you believe that you want to wear one. If you don't want to wear a bikini, don't wear one. It's your choice. Show up today fully without any apology for who you are. Show up with gratitude as to what this body lets you do. You only have one. Love it, accept it, and move forward with the truth that you are an absolute badass. You have a bikini body too, I promise. Mwah. I was never actually told that I didn't have a bikini body, but I think growing up, society has made us to believe that you have to be a size zero to two in order for you to wear a bikini. When you look at magazine covers or anything out there in the press, um, I think that they always use figures that are that size. We stress upon young people and just women in general that their body has to be a certain shape or size or you have to be a certain limit. And I don't think that we need to do that anymore. Sky's the limit. I have a bikini body. I love my body. I want everyone else out there to embrace their body and understand that no one is better than you and you can only love you. Don't ever let someone tell you that you don't have a bikini body. Sharifa says you have a bikini body. I have a bikini body and I'm gonna tell you how you can get one too. Step one, put on a bikini or swimsuit. Step two, that is it. You don't need to lose weight or gain weight to be beautiful on the beach and to feel confident on the beach. You don't need to lose weight or change your body to feel worthy of love and respect. You don't need to change a thing about yourself because the real you is good enough. It doesn't matter if you have a bulge in the middle of your stomach, which has been one of my like major insecurities. It doesn't matter about the size of your boobs, whether they're huge like mine, or whether they're really small. And it doesn't matter if you have scars, as I do, acne, cellulite, nothing. You don't need to change yourself to have an amazing summer. This video was made for you, for anyone that's ever felt too insecure to wear a bikini. If you have a body and you put a bikini on it, you have a bikini body. So celebrate your body for so much more. It's amazing, magical capabilities. You are beautiful. You are good enough.